around the room. So I'm sort of channeling uh, Tokyo Hirano. Turns out he was the winningest judo competitor in history. The statistic that wows everybody is uh, 4,300 epons in seven years, six years. Uh, that's 700 matches a year that he won. And uh, people started asking him, how do you develop these skills? And uh, he's like, oh, well, you do this. Right? And he dances all these strange dances and waves his arms. And uh, when we found video of this guy teaching like this, everybody's reaction is like, what the hell is this guy doing? Is he crazy or what? But he was the winningest guy in history, so there must have been something there. So uh, I asked Nick what he was up to. Nick said, I don't know. Why don't you try to figure that out? So we've been trying to figure that out for about five years and uh, talking to various people it started making some sense. So I'm laying a little bit of my <coughs> ideas of what Hirano was up to in his training methods. <coughs> it's a judo class so let's uh, let's move around and warm up and do some some physical stuff first. Uh, <coughs> Kirby you want to lay your uh, awesome uh, warm up on us? <laughs> go, Kirby, go. Awesome warm up. Alrighty. Get the first jump squat. Tuts and up. Uh, oh, it's insane. What have you done to get it? Pat, you beautiful bastard. You can just do it. Notice he's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's really bad. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. Uh, here, roll up and over. <laughs> your opposite corners. Down. 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 Bend up the right. Mm -hmm. Up to the right. 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 Up to the we use this to, to work on Nawaz's skill. So we're basically going to be here on all fours, and we're going to sit out to one side, the back through, and then we're going to sit out to this side through. <coughs> so, just rotate through. Here. How you doing, Joe? I'm doing wonderful. Good. Make sure you go both direct. How do I need to do the setup for the... You know, for the party tonight, uh, somewhere between Good. four and six. All right, and then the next one, the canvas is down. Same position. Take them in place. But now I'm going to switch my move hips. Move a little furniture, bring all the chairs and all the tables. My hip is pointing toward the mat this way. One thing here. At that time, we probably got to get everybody to do this. You may just switch your feet back and forth. To move it. That's not what we're after. Trying to Closet. rotate your hip. In corner or something. So when you go from one side, and my hip is pointing to the mat, here, and then we can have a kitchen here. Okay, back and forth. Well, you know. I don't know if Richard's bringing it at 6 or 6.30. I'm not sure what kind of situation. Okay. I think I told him to push it slightly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to go to this side of the mat along the wall. 
Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to get down the mat and we're going to shrimp. Everybody shrimp up there. Yeah. 430. Yeah. So down the mat and we'll just shrimp to the other okay. side. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh Shrimp. Butts in the air. Butts in the air. High in the air, put your butt. High in the air. There you go. You want to see daylight underneath you. Kirby wrote an article on his blog about this uh, set of warm ups. Yeah. Uh, based on what Mopo does. So it takes like 10 minutes less than anybody else. That's beautiful. This sort of warm They're up all is something that, kind of breathing, that we've been working on in our place for the last <laughs> year or so. Because we have been, when sort of, when I first started doing judo, the warm up was a lot of, a lot of this. Oh, it's your turn. A lot of this, <laughs> and a lot of these kind of static stretches and things. Right. And if you look at the sort of current science of, of stretching, <coughs> That's not really your best stretching strategy. The better yeah. stretching strategy is a more dynamic, get your heart rate up at the beginning of the warm up, and that static stretching is better at the end. Right. The static stretching is not shown to <coughs> decrease acute injuries. Don't know about long term. So the next one, another shrimp. The next one, we call it the salamander. So we're going to be on our belly, hand on the side. Oh, and yeah. Knee up. Uh, and I'm pushing across. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm Excellent now that you're here. My belt came loose. I couldn't do uh -oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, George Briggs. Good to see you, brother. And I like to, you know, I haven't done shrimp since Chuck Caldwell left. <laughs> oh well I'll tell you, we're being we're being really, really nice on this. That's, that's, uh, ours are a little more elaborate. <laughs> Oh, I missed that song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gosh. Golly gee, we took some medication. Hey, baby. There you go. You know, Moose, you and Moose would say. What would say? Moose would say. <laughs> Just not only to torture you. Sure, it's fun watching torture, but uh. Uh, one of the characteristics that you get when you watch Tokyo Hirano is even in the 1986 film when he was gray-haired and uh, older, he was very vigorous and he was very agile. So let's uh, pair up and uh, play these foot sweep to control uh, exercises again. <coughs> Going to work on some uh, footwork and foot agility. All right, catching the foot each time. All right, play that. You wait on the ball of your feet. <laughs> oh, watch out, Pat. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you can on the balls of your feet. They slide it fast. That's the standard board. You know, everything has to be always controlled. Always controlled. Try not to hit something. Try to pick it up. Or whack it. <laughs> 
It's difficult to do because one thing the that I, have the right other thing that I did, uh, frame that didn't do, but you want to use the bottom of the foot like this body and make sure that the whole catch your tear but wraps around almost like using the foot. Well, like I as much as you can, just cup that foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I'll take it down. You know, he's got a PhD. Yes, because your foot doesn't have the range of freedom the rest of You have to get that freedom in your hip and knee. So you have to point your, turn your hip out and point your knee in order to be able to get the bottom of your foot on something. It feels weird. We're trying to learn to use the bottom of your feet like monkey hands. So try to make sure that the bottoms of your feet are on their ankle. Point the toes, curl the toes. go. All right, Yame, a couple of pointers about this. In order to, because your ankle does not have the same range of freedom as your hand and your wrist, you can't use your feet like monkey feet, which is what we would like to do here. We would like to be able to like reach out and grab their feet with our feet as if we're acting uh, like our feet are, are hands, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We don't have the range of motion in our ankles. So you have to pick up some extra range of motion by turning your hip outward and pointing your knee. That's about the only way that you'll get the palm of your foot, the bottom of your foot, on the gas, <coughs> right? So when we step, other foot, other foot. there we go. Okay. Turn your knee outward, and that puts the bottom of your foot on their ankle. All right. Uh, one more pointer: when they step back, turn your standing foot parallel with the line that they're standing on, and then grab with the bottom of your foot. All right. Play that two or three more rounds, and I'll show you something else. If you go back and look at film of Tokyo Hirano, if you want to uh, give yourself a good headache or confuse yourself, try to keep up with all the things that he's doing with his feet and his hips. He is all over the place and there's a lot of motion in there. Uh, so let's, let's ramp up our uh, agility drills here with some Uchikomi. Push the guy back and catch this foot. Don't throw. Turn your foot, put your heels together, and let him step through for this one. All right? So it's Dayashi. I want to make my turn a little bit in front of his feet, heel to heel, and try to catch this one. It doesn't matter if you throw. I want you to get used to moving from here around the corner to catch here. All right? Outside, inside. 
it has to be I have to take very small steps because in the space of half of his step I have to uh, get my sweeping foot back in there all right play that with your partner spread out and make some space Yes. Today I should code you. There you go. Not actually getting the full fast run. It's uh, Dayashi Kouchi. Dayashi Kouchi. So it's on the, it's not the opposite leg, it's the same leg. Yeah? Here, feel. Yep, okay. Here, Dayashi. Turn the corner and catch here. Oh. You gotta, you gotta wait on me to, here. to react. Here, there. There you go. Okay, that's that's what we should pick up. Yeah. Uh, the further that you get into this, or the harder you try the first thing, the harder the next thing will be. So, if I get into this thing and just grab him and get to the point where I could sweep him if I want to, it'll be fairly easy to get to the next thing. If I really try to sweep him and put some effort into that, it's going to be harder to get to the next thing. Just reach out there and grab his foot for a second. And then grab his foot. It's like gestures at throat. Some of the next techniques are some of the next techniques in the kata are uh, 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 Uchigari. He's got a great answer for it. <laughs> Like turning out here, mm -hmm. yeah. so I'll show where I'm going to run. But you induce this to me. I'm back. Okay. And then he jumps back in. Oh, okay. I'm in this. I'm in this state. Cool. Yep. The harder you, the more you insist on the first thing, the harder it will be to get So if you overpower her with this thing, she's got to recover a little bit like it's harder. So grab her foot where you could do the sweep, but sort of holds her. And back off and turn the corner. When she steps forward, we'll do the right thing. So it's this foot. You just touch it. This one. No, I'm getting to where I could. I'm touching Making a gesture at that sweep. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. <laughs> well, don't step on it. <laughs> no, don't hit it. Yeah, just have to do it faster. All right, yummy. With Part of the point here is if you're going to hook two techniques up in a, in a combination or if you're going to use a certain motion or a certain technique to set up a second one, there has to be a, a connector in between them because, for instance, here, I once saw this technique or this feint or whatever is made, 
I'm not in position for this thing. This is going to be awkward unless I move to the position for the second throw. Here, here, right? I've got to place myself in a position to where that second throw will work. Here's where it, uh, it becomes even more interesting and challenging and obvious. One, two, he doesn't like this, so he, he snatches it back from me. All right. Uh, just about everybody that I've ever showed this to, this, uh, this Kouchi Ouchi combo, when he snatches that back, they want to try this thing. And he's being nice to me, right? I, I was thoroughly out of position for that third technique, right? He steps back. This is not the time for this thing. I'm not in position. So when he steps off of this, I step right into his groin and then do the third one. <clears throat> You'll see this uh, step with both feet into his groin in the uh, katsa here in a minute. Two. Yeah. Alright. So play that. The standard drill for uh, practicing that sort of skill is uh, <coughs> Ko Uchi, he steps back, step, step, O Uchi, step, 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 chasing this guy down. Everybody's problem with this thing is wanting to put the sweep in before they move up there. Right? There's one. So yeah. Um, oh. So if I'm reaching for the thing from the uh, from the position for the first throw, I will not get it. There's one, two, three, four, and so. Forth. All right. Play that two or three rounds, and then we'll move on to something else. He's walking backwards, and I'm galloping. Right? I catch this one, step, step, catch this one, step, 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 and so on. Y'all gather up. That, that was sort of a warm up, sort of an agility uh, prelude. Uh, one of the things that is distinctive about Hirano's work is he places an <coughs> impetus on Uke and then lets Uke's body develop a resistance to that and then throws off of the resistance. Uh, sometimes the kata is called Hondo no kata, which means reaction or kickback or something like that. Uh, sometimes it's called uh, Nanatsu no kata, which means seven things. Not very creative, but it's seven things. Uh, here, which you can be the okay for a second. 
and he was when you watch the videos there's all this <laughs> waving and and strange motion he did that sometimes when he demonstrated the katas and sometimes he didn't do the the arm waving uh, that is a communication thing he is saying the first wave is going to look something like this all right just a regular wave that washes into the beach have you ever been standing uh, like in shallow water a wave comes in and the the weight of the water pushes water into the sand and when it recedes it takes the sand out from under you yeah. right and you sink or you fall that's what we're going to do we're going to wash in here and erode out from under this foot all right so the basic form of the thing will look it's as if i have a canvas here and i'm painting a giant wave that's going to act like that all right he stands for the first one in a relaxed uh, upright posture I bury some weight here and when I let go I take the foot away uh, even in a relaxed upright posture he doesn't have to be a, a pushover he can be sturdy here and this is difficult to move but if I bury weight here I don't even have to drag him right you stand upright I put weight here his body begins reacting to that weight and all of a sudden his foot is light because of the reaction of his body to it so first technique here and there a very low impact very easy Oso to guard uh, play that with your partner for like three or four reps and then we'll do the next one. A review of yesterday's stuff. So yesterday we worked on the uh, the first wave that erodes the sand out from under that, and it's uh, Osotagari. The second wave, sometimes this wave washes in and it encounters some resistance when it uh, approaches the bank and it turns down the beach. Y'all have seen this when you've been out on the beach. A wave comes in and then turns this way. All right. The resistance that he's going to set up is <coughs> fighting right leg back. All right. There you go. He has seen my first technique and doesn't want that leg taken out. So he pulls it back. One of the interesting things about this exercise is it exhibits throws against light, moderate, and heavy resistance. Uh, this is a light resistance thing we hook up I do my thing and this is not the direction anymore that's the direction all right so the force of this thing washes in trying to erode out from under his feet oh that's not the direction that's the direction Osoto Toshi all right Play that once or twice, and then I will show you the cool ninja technique of the day. <laughs> the, the next thing is the big secret. This is what I made this last mission right here. All right, I lied to you. There's got to be one more little piece of prelude, and let me let me use John to make feel it. All right, so. Here's the big secret that all you vicious uh, judo guys don't understand. Here's, here's the technique that y'all have been doing. It's the first thing that we do in Aikido. He reaches up here to touch my face. And I bump him and then push his face. This is the here. That's why they teach it first in Aikido. All right. As he steps in and this uh, first foot lands, I bump him a little bit, which sets up a motion this way in this guy. If I hit the guy while he's on this foot, 
he steps back, all right? So I bump him. If I let him recover and hit him, he steps back, all right? He absorbs that. But if I bump him and right, right there, <laughs> right when his feet equalize in the middle of that wave, hit him, then his feet don't catch up. All right. So what y'all have been doing is that, right? We get here and put him in a relaxed posture. I set up this motion in him, right? Waste the leg and there's this wave going on in him, right? About the time he gets even, that foot gets light, all right? Same thing here. He pulls this leg back, all right? When I reach out and touch that leg, I obviously cannot oh so to guard this guy. But I push on him a little bit, and when I let go, there's this wave going on in, in him, right? Right when he gets even, I can lean in, right? So this thing is shomenate also. All right. We'll see that. We'll see that here in a minute again. Here's the cool ninja thing. The the really big secret besides shomenate is he's got to allow me to do this thing, right? So if I can convince him somehow, stand upright and just don't let me do stuff to you, right? It's his mental state that creates this physical resistance. When I push down on this, he lightens that foot because of the resistance, all right? Let's get cracked heads. The, uh, oh, it sounds ominous. The, <laughs> the second part of this kata is counters. All right. All right. You get to counter me since I've been throwing. The counter to the Osotogari is Ukiyotoshi. Right? So, and, and this is really dramatic right here. So, feet side by side, you're in a standard posture. If he goes with me here, drop this leg back into Ukiyotoshi. On the knee. Here? This side? Drop this knee. Oh. Right? Oh. So, <coughs> it's the resistance when I try to put that, that wave on him. It's the resistance that throws him. If he goes with me, I get it. All right? Mm -hmm. So spread these three crash pads out and get in groups and practice uh, ukiyotoshi against this thing. So, okay. Now it's my turn for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want, you want that drop load. Right? You drop into this foot. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Otoshi means just about literally catch the guy going down and keep him going down. All right. So practice that. Okay.